What's up guys, my name is Javier and welcome back to Tool Craze. So in today's episode, we're going to take a look at an air compressor from Campbell Hasfeld. Excuse me if I said the name wrong, but anyways, it's not just any air compressor because in today's video, we're going to take a look at a quiet air compressor. Before we get started with this video, I do want to warn you guys that I don't use air compressors myself. I have used them before on job sites, but only on a few rare occasions. But for the most part, I've relied mostly on cordless tools such as battery powered nailers and such. I guess what I'm trying to say is that if you're looking for a review from someone who's an expert on air compressors, I suggest you take a look elsewhere. Anyways, as I was saying, I have used air compressors before, and if there's one thing I can remember from my short experience with them, is that they're very loud. So that's the whole point of this bad boy. Now, before we get to all the details of how loud it is or how quiet it is, I do want to mention the price of this air compressor. So this eight gallon model with 125 PSI is priced at $199. So if you guys are just interested in any old air compressor, there's plenty of other options out there where you can get an air compressor for a lot less. I mean, you guys can easily find air compressor sets with not just one, but three included nailers for the price of this bad boy. So if you guys are interested in looking for an air compressor for a lot less, what are you guys doing watching this video? Get up and go get a cheaper model. But if you guys have used air compressors before and you're tired of how loud they are, and you're looking for something that's a lot quieter, then that's exactly what makes this model appealing, as it claims to be 50% quieter. That's exactly what it says right there on the box, and it even claims that it's only 68 decibels when the compressor is running. So to test out that claim, I busted out my handy decibel meter, and before we turn on the compressor, we can see here that my garage is pretty quiet at about the mid 30s on the decibel meter. And let's see just how loud the compressor gets by turning it on. And as we can see, it runs at the advertised loudness of 68 decibels, which is a ton quieter than the average air compressor to say the least. Most air compressors average about 78 to 82 decibels. One of the things about sound is that loudness doubles with every 10 decibels, so an extra 10 decibels is twice as loud, or 10 decibels less is half as loud. This is something I actually learned from you guys, as I got a flood of comments teaching me this fact over on my review for the Rigid Salesforce. Anyways, that's what's sweet about this compressor, is that it's a lot quieter and will be less of a nuisance if you use compressors indoors. One thing I liked about the reduced sound is that it's quiet enough where you can carry on a conversation with someone nearby the compressor while it's on. And from what I can remember on my short use with other compressors, I'd have to wait till the compressor was done recovering before I can speak and be heard. So what do I like about this air compressor? Well, I think it's pretty obvious that it's how quiet it is, since it's definitely a lot quieter than most air compressors out there. And as far as negatives are concerned, well, other than it's very quiet operation, you don't get many bells and whistles for the price point. The max PSI is about average at 125 max PSI, while there's a lot of air compressors out there that offer you higher max PSIs. Also, you only get one hose hookup on this model, meaning that you can only run one air tool at a time. I've seen a bunch of air compressors out there for less that offer you two air hose hookups, so you can run two air tools at a time. So this means that two people can run two air tools at the same time with the same air compressor. But then again, you're really paying for low operating sound, and in many cases, I'd say it's definitely worth it, as that's one of the main things I didn't like about using air compressors in the past, and I'd be willing to pay a little bit more for a quiet running compressor if I was in the market for one. I also did some research and I found out that even though this is priced higher than most compressors in similar size, there's still some pretty good value going on with this model. For example, I found the Rollair AB5 Air Buddy, which has the same sound output at 68 decibels, and it's about three quarters of the price of this model, but you only get a one gallon tank, and with the same max PSI of 125. There's also the Rollair JC10, which is quieter than this model at 60 decibels, but it's also more expensive at around $240. It has the same 125 max PSI, and has a much smaller 2.5 gallon tank which means you should be able to get more work done with the Campbell Hausfeld before the motor kicks in and the tank has to recover. At least that's from my understanding, but correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. And the very last thing I wanted to mention is that Campbell Hausfeld has two quiet compressors. The one in this video is an eight gallon model and they also have a smaller and lighter six gallon model as well. And besides the tank size difference, they both have all the same stats, the same 125 max tank PSI, same CFMs at 90 and 50 PSI, and both have the same motor mounted on top 
and as a result have the same low 68 decibel operating noise. Surprisingly, both models are priced the same at $199 each. I also left you guys links in the description below if you guys are interested in purchasing either of these models. So that's it for this episode of Tool Craze. As always, show your support for this channel by liking this video, checking out the Tool Craze website at www.toolcraze.net for more tool news, tool deals, and tool reviews you won't see here on this channel. And follow me over at social media, over at Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.